Hello, and welcome to Dr. Anime. Today, I am going to tell you about a 2019 fantasy comedy called Kanasuba. So be careful and take care. A large one erupts in the backdrop, and you can see a frog devouring a goat. Subsequently, you will witness a few people warning the insane in which that there will be no more tuna to harvest once they are all gone. He encounters Kazuma, who is furious that Mega Man, a girl, was responsible for a significant explosion. He recently killed a bunch of fish by accident while using his powers. That means he's to blame for the entire mess. Then Union, a girl, walks up to the table and tells Kazuma she wants a child. After that, everyone meets at the customer store to discuss what transpired at the bar. Everyone finds Union's insistence that she should have a kid with him to be somewhat strange. Kazuma has a reputation for misogyny. She says she wants a woman, but the syndicate insists it must be a guy, so she takes his offer. He presents them with a letter from his father informing them of the impending attack and destruction of their lovely village by the Demon King. The prophecy states that the Union will only be able to vanquish the evil king through the son that they would have from someone like Kazuma. Chaos discusses how the red demons can withstand an assault without the need for intervention. At last, they make the decision to investigate the situation. They proceeded to the town of the Red Devil. They are horny men and women who are constantly on the lookout for human flesh. The female ORCs teleport and begin pursuing Kazuma. Considering that Kazuma is the only man I have seen in a while, only female ORCs are left in the population after all the males were killed out. Their preferred partner is a man. Thus, they saw client visits as a gift. She is now surrounded by ORCs who angrily tell her they desire hundreds of kids. The Union will use their magic to stop anyone who sees this darkness from attacking Kazuma by falling or leaping out of the throng. Transforms the earth into an enormous purple liquid that engulfs the ORCs. When they depart, he promises they won't remember the encounter. Thanking his companions for their assistance, Kazuma bids the ORCs farewell as they are unable to defeat the Crimson Demon. Then, the troop enters the town. Suddenly, there's a brawl between Mega Man and the Union. To the soldiers patrolling the region for Demon King, Yellen let out a cry. When Aqua tries to speak with the enemy first, Mega Man intervenes and uses a magic attack to stop them. Massive explosions he produces deter the Demon King's henchmen, but also draw in the majority of spectators. Then a large number of them show up, but fortunately a red devil emerges from the settlement and destroys every one of them. They take the group to the place where a note claims Mega Man's father passed away. He claims that it's all a joke and that's what everyone in town is talking about. He appears unconcerned when the Union challenges him about the Demon King's assault on the city. However, the Wicked Army has a general with unique abilities, and he has the ability to trigger alarms and cause havoc. Observe as the Red Demons reduce the Wicked Army attacking the community to ash and flesh. The group looks on in shock as the brawl unfolds. His power as a Crimson Demon is immense. Afterwards, the group heads to Megan's residence, where her family is anticipating her arrival and getting her settled in. Additionally, Kazuma's father inquires about their relationship. Although Kazuma claims they are only buddies, his father is appalled and doesn't trust him. Kazuma talks about his wealth and gives them a gift. This makes Megan's father happy and he starts to warm up to the boy. Later, while taking a bath, Kazuma observes Megan's reaction upon seeing her mother is asleep. He helps her relocate her daughter to a different room after she asks him to. He then closes the rear door. He ultimately chooses to place Megaman on his bed. She wakes up later, but not before he decides to take action and approaches her. She informs him she won't take any action because he appears suspicious. She labels him a pervert, leaves the room, and doesn't believe him. The group meets in the morning, has a conversation, and uses a different name for Kazuma. Megaman called him a pervert, so they make fun of him for it. They visit the enigmatic fortress and reveal that. Although no one can break into the vault to get it, there is something extremely valuable within. After that, take a stroll around the hamlet and stop by the closed stores there. When the vendor displays the goods to them, they notice an odd bit of metal hanging next to it. Handle it carefully, it's a large gun. They also go to a location known as the Red Prison, which is a Red Demon Academy where they receive magic instruction. As they stroll ahead, Megaman emphasizes how the Union gave up their magic long ago in order to teach Megan strongest magic to this day. The party heads into the forest to investigate after something detonates. An wicked army led by the most formidable leader this time around. Sylvia is her name, and she has a lot of secrets. Kazuma shocks you by posing as someone else. 
making him stand out. He presents himself as someone who has previously vanquished evil powers. Thus, Sylvia orders everyone to move aside. That night, Megaman and Kazuma share his bed once more. They converse, and it appears that he forgot the previous day, when he labeled her as a gay. As they approach, the siren sounds once more to alert everyone to the impending onslaught. Kazuma and Sylvia met. He walks over to her and tells her how rude she is for ruining his evening with Mega Man. He confesses throughout their conversation that he is not the powerful warrior he had claimed to be, and Sylvia discovers this. She like it when he pulls her in close to his body. When his pals attempt to save him, he tells them to go away. Despite being hit, Sylvia is unaffected by the magic. Sylvia assures everyone that their magic isn't entirely demonic, therefore it can't harm her. He is a hybrid of a chimera and a demon. Although she takes in this human guise, she really lets Kazuma hold her back, and he assures others that he will leave her alone herself and that they will get along. She was astonished by it, so it's just one of her powers. After that, he takes her back to the prior fortress scene and explains how a special weapon is concealed inside. He continues by explaining that because these weapons negate the Red Devil's magical abilities, they can vanquish them. The name of it is Magic Killer. When they arrive at the safe, Ala discovers that it is locked and that she needs to use a password controller to open it. Being around Sylvia makes him talk too much since he finds her too attractive, once more exuding her charm, Kazuma grants her entry. When the remaining members of the party get there, the fortress blows up. Sylvia has a very different appearance. They have the ability to digest stuff, he claims. Red can now be used as a weapon to defeat demons. It's a weapon now. He then charges into the village, murdering everyone in his way and wreaking havoc with his destructive onslaught on everything in his path. The people decide that something needs to be done after observing the devastation from above. He supposedly possesses limitless power, but perhaps something is preventing him from using it. There's a nearby ruin with a hidden weapon that can take down a mage slayer. Kazuma then invites his pals to look into it. He regrets sending Sylvia to the fortress deeply. When they go to the ruins, Aqua is able to decipher it. It describes how a scientist gave birth to a mature man who was given the moniker Red Devil. Along with creating Magic Slayer, a potent weapon capable of stopping wizards, he also devised another potent weapon capable of stopping wizard killers. In reality, this pistol is a metal clothes hanger used by employees of a clothing business. The news shocks Kazuma, who declares the community to be absolutely insane. After that, Sylvia and her army are attacked by the Red Devil army, but they are defeated. He then got up and erected a dome, the one who strips him of all authority. Now, the Red Demons attempted an unsuccessful attack on him. They are now just regular individuals since their power has been totally taken away. They take off, and Sylvia comes after them. He desires to wipe them all out. He nearly takes out a Crimson Demons member, but the Union intervenes, he lets loose his formidable magic and demands that Sylvia battle him in order for her to be free. Since Sylvia is extremely strong in this form, she attacks her right away, allowing the ally to flee with her. Kazuma then brought a train wall that Sylvia might destroy. When you attempt to shoot him, nothing occurs, nobody is sure what's missing, but it appears like something is missing. Then Mega Man shows up casting spells with his powers, but he just adds magic to the weapon. Now that it is completed, it appears to be prepared for use. Kazuma gestured once again at Sylvia. It also explains how to get in. Sylvia is shot by Sister Mega Man, piercing her flesh and leaving a big hole. Then, in the world of the dead, he encounters two more deceased generals who pull him into the ocean while speaking to him. He cries that he doesn't want to die and then, out of nowhere, he comes back to life changing completely in appearance and changing into a massive liquid monster. Combined with two deceased generals from the realm of the dead, he was now genuinely unbeatable. Sylvia regains her strength. Now in his ultimate form, he is hurling massive purple sprays at his adversaries, but Vama's which companions stop the attack when he speaks with Wiz. Vama labels them as traitors and threatens to kill them as well. This is because there is nothing Zuma and her companions can do. Therefore, they are risking their lives to flee. As she runs, Kazuma gets an amazing idea. Then, on the verge of a very mad moment, Vince approaches a very strong wizard who can wield dark magic, a poor village magician. He gathers magical abilities from all the cultures and red demon villages in order to cast his evil spells. Kazuma, in the meantime, rushes to Sylvia and exclaims how lovely she is and how much he wants her. He pauses his attack to grasp Kazuma with his tentacles because Sylvia truly likes him. He then becomes one with him and eats Sylvia much like the others. 
gathering all the magic and sending it to Mega Man and the Alliance. After that, they clasped hands. After taking in Wiz's wizardry, they shot Sylvia. Everyone is stunned by the most potent magic they have ever seen, but Sylvia uses her magic to defend herself and deflect the attack. After Kazuma gave her some loving words, she became sidetracked and the magic killed her right away. Following the battle, Mega Man and Kazuma are seen outside. They discuss the horrible events that occurred in the city while the night weather continues and declare that since Uma expressed a desire to meet him once more, he is giving up his blast magic. A massive cloud of explosions appears above the ground when he casts a spell. Stronger than before, the explosion leaves a cloud in the shape of a heart behind. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please support the channel by subscribing, liking and sharing the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.